Hey guys and welcome to another video, this is Alex from Tech Fusion and today I want to guide you through the few things that you can change under the Chia app in Windows 10 to see if you can get any performance gains out of the first phase of plotting. So for today's video I ran actually just three tests, each of them being 10 minutes long, so I've only referenced the first phase of the plotting stage, just changing the CPU and RAM allocation around to see if there's any extra performance that you can have while doing your plotting. At the end I decided just for sanity check to run four plots in parallel as well, just tweaking the settings uh, in accordance with what I found in the previous test to see if there's any performance as well that it was otherwise left on the table. So for this test here as you can see we're running the two threads uh, and 3.3 roughly gigabytes of memory allocation which is the standard setting under the uh, Chia 1.1.6 as uh, it stands out today to be the latest version. I'll let it run for 10 minutes, I'll fast forward this video and meet you guys at the end where we will show you the results. So after 10 minutes of running the test with the standard Chia settings, we actually done only 2% of the plotting in the first phase with 46 buckets of data that was transferred to the RAID array. Um, just as a small recap, the standard settings as to the version 1.1.6 standard 1 core and 2 threads with 3.3, uh, well actually close to 3.4 gigabytes of memory that's being allocated for each plot. So as you can see here in the view log, for our second test we're running the 24 threads uh, with the same memory allocation of roughly 3.4 gigabytes of memory and we'll see how far long into the progress we get after 10 minutes. So see you at the end of this video. So with no surprise to anybody, we allocated more CPU cores to the overall process, so we got farther along than before. So we actually got an up to 3% progress now with about 56 buckets of data that was transferred to the RAID array. Um, just for sanity check, I wanted to see what some people out there were saying that, uh, well, you shouldn't increase uh, the standard settings that Chia is providing because this is actually quite optimized. So I decided just to double the amount of CPU cores that were allocated for each plot and see if this makes any difference or what sort of difference this uh, sort of makes uh, in the overall uh, scheme of things. So as you can see here we're using now 4 threads and we just left alone the RAM allocation which is the same 3.4 gigabytes of memory and let's see how far along this gets us into the overall progress after 10 minutes. So this is actually quite a surprising result. Running RAID 0 at 10 minutes into the test, we actually got an up to 3% overall progress with 54 buckets of data that's been transferred to the RAID array, compared to the 56 buckets, only 2 buckets short, uh, for just doubling the CPU cores uh, that uh, Chia wants in standard. So we're running 2 cores at 4 threads and this gives us, I would say, roughly 99-98% of the way the same performance that running 12 cores and 24 threads would give you. So the results are speaking for themselves, so as you can see here, running just double the CPU cores gives you roughly the same performance as running uh, max out uh, 12 cores and 24 threads, in my case anyway, for the Ryzen 9 3900X. I decided to use this setting and increase the RAM setting as well to see if there is any real-world performance to be gained out of this situation. So as you can see here we're running 4 threads now with uh, 20 gigabytes of memory. This is the new buffer size. I'll let the test run for 10 minutes and get back to you with the results. So now, running the RAID 0 after 10 minutes, we can actually see that we're again at 3% with 54 buckets, uh, giving us the overall same, exact same performance as with the normal buffer of 3.4 gigabytes of memory. So I would conclude that in the first phase, or at least in the first 10 minutes of the first phase, there is actually no benefit to be gained whatsoever by increasing the buffer size. Since the test before all referred 10 minutes for each of the plots under each of the settings, I decided now to run 4 plots in parallel for 40 minutes in total to see how far along to the progress we get 
by the end of the test. So as you can see here, I'm adding the plot, I'm changing the plot number to 4, plotting in parallel with no delay, and just changing the number of threads. So I'll make 4 threads while leaving the RAM usage the same. I'll just select here my um, RAID 0 array, and the final drive, although this is not really important as we will not get to writing anything to it. And I'll create a plot. And now I will leave them uh, running for about 40 minutes and get back to you at the end of these 40 minutes. I'll just fast forward here and uh, see exactly what results we can expect. So after running the test for 40 minutes and seeing that we have gotten up to 6% progress I was actually quite impressed because I was expecting to see something in the neighborhood of 3% for each of the plots that we had. This would be more inconsistent with what we first found out uh, during the single plotting stages. But anyway this is the result that we came up to. I'm pretty sure that this is okay, although I would like you to leave your comments down below and your thoughts as to what happened here. Maybe I'm not scaling it correctly, maybe I shouldn't have left it running for 40 minutes and I should have left it only for 20 minutes. Although on my scaling logic, if I tested one plot for 10 minutes and I got to 3% using four plots in parallel for 40 minutes, that should be pretty much even. Um, but anyway, I do appreciate any comments that you have, any thoughts that you have. Leave them down in the video description so we can all see and all uh, maybe... Uh, have a big think cap on and see how we can increase the performance even more. Thank you guys and see you in the next